Hello everyone. In this program, we are going to understand what is the size of pointer and what is the need of using a correct type of pointer to hold the address of a specific type. Now, let us try to understand if I want to verify the size of any data type, how do I do this? Like for example, let us say if I want to verify the size of integer, I can just use size of int equal to the format specified here could be percentage u or lu okay depends upon how size underscore t is implemented is it implemented as unsigned int or unsigned long int in my machine size underscore int is implemented as unsigned long int so i'm going to use percentage lu so you can also use u in case in your machine size underscore t is implemented as unsigned int now i'm going to verify this is how we are going to verify the size of an integer. Let's quickly compile this and verify this. Perfect. Size of integer here is 4. Now, similarly, I would like to also understand the size of various other data types like character and let's say short integer. The size of character is 1 byte and the size of short is expected output is 2 byte perfect okay now this is if you are specifying the data type here on the same lines i would like to also verify size of integer pointer size of character pointer and size of short pointer i'd like to verify if i declare an integer pointer what will be the size so size of int star size of character and size of short star okay what is the expected size now do we expect like 4 1 2 or do we expect something else right let's quickly verify this and try to understand the reason behind the output what we are going to get you can observe that the size of an integer pointer or a character pointer or a short pointer is 8 bytes. Let me also remind you here, the size of pointer is size of your compiler is a 32-bit compiler or 64-bit compiler. If your compiler is 32-bit, size of pointers will be 4 byte. Either it might be integer pointer or a character pointer. Okay, if your compiler is 64-bit compiler, then it will be 8 bytes each. Now, we need to understand if we are using a variable, how do we verify the size? Like, if I am using an integer variable, how to verify the size? And similarly, if I have a pointer which is holding the address of an integer, pointer to an integer, now how do I verify this? Please remember, we have to only use PI or pointer name. We are not supposed to use this particular operator, dereferencing operator. If we dereference the operator, then we don't get the size of a pointer. We get size of an integer. After dereferencing integer pointer, we get integer. So we are not supposed to use this star here. Let's quickly verify. Fine. You could observe here carefully. That is 4 and this 8. Now we learned how do we verify the size of any data type using the data type name directly or by using the variable name. Now, and we also learned that an integer pointer or a character pointer or a short integer pointer, their size is same. Everything is 8 bytes because the addresses are of the same length and the pointers just hold the address. Now the question is, if all the pointers are the same type, sorry, same size, if all the pointers are of the same size, then can I make a character pointer hold the address of an integer? Can I make a short pointer hold the address of an integer? Because anyhow, we need to store only the address and addresses are always 8 byte long. It is not, not dependent upon the data type. 
let's try to assign the address of a integer variable and point into integer pointer let's also try to take a pointer or character which is going to hold the address of in same integer as well as we'll also try to take a pointer short which is going to hold the address of an integer now first let us try to compile this particular program and try to verify this will this work or will it give me a problem so let's just quickly compile this and you could observe that yes there is a warning but remember it's not an error it's a warning but in case if we neglect the warning and we can observe that is it really holding the address or it's not holding the address to understand that we'll try to quickly print what is the address of x and then we'll also try to understand what is the address which is stored in pi pc as well as ps we'd like to understand what is stored inside pi pc and ps or you can say that where is pi pointing to where is pc pointing to where is ps pointing to right is it still able to point to x or it is not able to point to x compiled yes the same warning i'd like to run this what you could observe here is all the three pointers are pointing to the same location which is address of x now if it is able to hold the address because its pointers are just eight bytes no matter the integer pointer or character pointer or short pointer anything it is always eight bytes so they can hold the address then why is it that the compiler gives me this warning when it is able to hold the address right let's quickly try to understand that let me just disable this particular code because you already observed this and we don't want to keep repeating this again and again let's assign a small value to a variable x and let's observe that if i try to fetch the value of the variable through various pointers are we able to hold access the values or not remember we are supposed to access the value of x through various pointers fine we need to fine let's quickly verify this yes i am able to access the value but remember this is a small value let us try to take up some larger value now i would like to take up a full fledged value of an integer remember integer is an 8 byte sorry 4 byte variable so it means it can take up 8 hexadecimal digits and it's easy for me to convert from hexadecimal to byte wise so i'm just using hexadecimal you can take up some values let me just take up simple values 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now since i'm using hexadecimal i would prefer displaying it in hexadecimal format not in decimal format let's quickly compile this particular code and then let's try to run and let us observe are we getting the same thing or not x value and the value d reference to point to an integer is same but if you can observe the point to a character even though it is holding the entire address properly without any problem but on d referencing it is giving me only part of the information and also remember this is not a junk value it is the last byte and if you can observe this short integer it is just giving you the last two bits now this we rather than saying its last byte it's inside the memory the topmost byte how it is stored depends upon how it is stored okay the first byte 78 is stored second byte 56 is stored third byte 34 is stored and fourth byte 1 2 is stored if you use a pointer or character it'll only use one byte to fetch the information and if you use pointer or short it's going to use two bytes to fetch the information 
Now, why is the order in this way? Why is this stored in the high order byte, the first byte? Why is it stored in the second byte? It depends upon the endedness of the machine. And okay, this particular machine is a little endian machine. So, in case if your machine is a big endian machine, the output could be different for these two cases. You could get the MSB byte, and this information could be the first two bytes in that memory block. The learning from this is. We should always use the correct data type to hold the address of the correct type of object. Like you should always use a pointer to an integer to hold the address of an integer, pointer to a character to hold the address of only characters, not integers. Right? Pointer to short should be used to hold the address of a short and not integers or characters. You might not face a problem in case if you are storing the address because point is always eight bytes, it can hold the addresses, but you will face problem while dereferencing. This is one of the cases where the wrong data type could create a problem. The other case where you will face a problem by using wrong data type is when you perform the pointer arithmetic operation. We will learn about the pointer arithmetic operations in the next session. Thank you.